All right, good morning. We're back here to start putting together our two shapes, our two halves, to form our hollow shape for our animal coin bank. So um, I left these out overnight. I had plastic over them um, to help them dry out. They're still a little bit soft. Um, we don't want them completely leather hard because we do want to be able to flex them still. So if we need to, to make the rims match up. Um, so I'm going to start with the round one and I'm just going to go ahead and assemble these. We're not going to put newspaper inside or do anything um, fancy like that to support the shape. We're going to let the air trapped inside um, help support it. So all I'm going to be doing is cross hatching the rims, painting them with slip, then putting the two pieces together. I'm going to take my rib tool. Rib tool again, you can use either the card um, or you can use the wooden rib tool, or you could even use a ruler. And then I'll be scraping and joining the outsides. After I do that, I'm going to roll a little worm of clay, a coil, um, but not as thick as our normal coil. I'm going to wrap it around the outside where the seam is. I'm going to blend that in, and then I'm going to scrape it one more time. That's going to help to reinforce the join, and it's also going to help to hide the seam. So I'm just going to work away doing that on both of these and then we'll show you the finished piece.
Alright guys, so I've been here working away and I put together my two halves of both of the shapes, the round one as well as the football one. So at this point, after you've cross-hatched, you've slipped them, you've put them together, you've wrapped the coil around the seam, you've blended that in, then you've scraped it, smoothed it, sponged it. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to paddle it. Um, if you remember back when we did the jack-o'-lanterns earlier in the school year, we use these long wooden boards um, as paddles, basically to just lightly tap um, onto the clay to help put it into a nicer, more rounded shape. So at this point, um, what you're going to do is grab one of those paddles, they're in the bucket at the back of the room, and then you're going to carefully pick up your project and you're going to lightly paddle it into shape. I should say you only need to do this if you feel like your shape needs altered a little bit. So for instance, say I'm going to use the football shape and maybe I want it to be a fish and I want it to stand up more this way and maybe I want to try and narrow or flatten it, give it a better shape. So what I can do at this point is I can paddle the clay and it'll help to kind of compress the clay and also squeeze it and mold it into the shape that I want for my animal. Um, if at this point you're using the football shape and you're going to stand it up and you want it to be maybe the body of a penguin or some other animal and then you're going to add the head and um, so forth to it, then at this point you can paddle it or you can tap it to get a flat spot for it to rest on. Um, same thing with the round one. Whatever your shape is, you're just going to kind of work to paddle to refine that shape. So I'll do a little bit on this one here. Um, so I'm going to use the flat edge. Make sure you don't catch an edge or a corner of the board. You'll put a big dent in your project. And you're just going to lightly tap it. We're not banging on it, um, hitting it hard or, or trying to put a lot of force into it. If you're having to use that much force, you've let your clay get too dry. Um, basically, it's just a light tapping. And you're just looking at the profile or the outline of your shape as you're doing it. And you're just working to refine that shape, okay? Just to flatten it off, smooth it out, put it, give it more of a rounded shape or maybe have it come to a point if you're wanting it to come to a point. And you're just gonna slowly kind of work with it, rotate it until you're content that you have it to be the shape of whatever your animal might be. Okay, so I'm going to continue working on these, but you get the idea. The other thing I wanted to also tell you is that you'll probably want to poke a small hole in these. Um, and the reason being is the air is going to get compressed as the clay dries. And if that happens and you don't have an, a little escape hole for the air to come out as it dries, then that compression may actually cause it to split the seam that you just spent all this time joining. So if you know and you can plan out where it's going to be on your animal coin bank, where you're going to cut out your little slot, um, you could make the hole there. Otherwise, you can always cover the hole with a little bit of clay later. But what I prefer, or what I try to use, is the needle tool. And I'm just going to randomly pick a spot. It can be at a tip, it can be right on top. It doesn't really matter, it's such a small hole. But at least it will let the air get out. Um, so I'm just going to pick a point right here on top. Maybe that's where I'll end up putting my slot, I'm not really sure. But I'm just going to go ahead and push that in and make that hole. Okay? tiny little hole, but it's enough to let the air go out as this dries. I'm going to do the same thing on the round one. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a spot and I'm just going to push that in, tiny little hole, and it'll be enough that the air can get out later um, as it dries. That way I don't risk that compression building up and it's splitting the seam that I just joined together. Okay, simple little tip. Took me a couple years to learn that or to figure it out. Um, that that's what was happening um, after I would join my pieces and I would find that later I would perhaps get a little crack, hairline crack or a split there. Um, so I'm telling you guys in advance, so hopefully you don't have that problem. 
Okay, I'm going to continue paddling and shaping on these, and um, then I'll be back with some ideas of how you can start adding your features to turn it into the animal that you've chosen. Okay, have a great day.